Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Plain Safe Sam edition. I don't know what this edition is. Um, getting ready to go out into the shop here. I've been working on my desk all morning, um, getting all the paperwork stuff done. But I'm going to head out and I've got an engine uh, that I need to get installed into a T34, a Beechcraft T34. So uh, I want to take you along for that ride. I'm going to try to do this in, I don't know, fast speed somehow. It's probably going to take me a a day or two to get this engine in. I gotta get all the baffling on it. Uh, gotta get the engine set up in the airplane and uh, need to get her all torqued in, prop on. We have to finish up the annual on it and we're gonna be out running this thing and hopefully flying by uh, the middle of next week. So uh, hang in there. Uh, this may be a hatchety kind of video because this is gonna be my first attempt at um, you know doing this kind of a thing. So um, hope you enjoy it. And I hope I do an okay job filming it. And if I can muddle it together so it makes some sense, that'd be even better. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm just a little frustrated right now because um, somebody else took this engine out back in June of last year and uh, that individual is no longer working here and I can't find half the stuff I need to find so I got to search for it and I don't want to waste all the, uh, I don't know, data space trying to find everything while everybody's watching a time-lapse video. Um, but hey, you know what? You can see in the background that everybody's working really hard to get the beaver done. Uh, that we're trying to get out of here tomorrow. Been in for its annual inspection. Had her jacked up, did all the wheel bearings, gear retraction checks, the big old radial engine. Matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to post a picture or actually a video of uh, that thing firing up. Um, we had it in here uh, maybe back in December. We did an oil change on it and. Uh, it's really, that thing is just a beast. 
one of the lowest time uh, beavers you're gonna find <laughs> probably on the planet. It's not even a lie. Uh, I think this thing just a couple ticks over 6,000 hours on it. Um, she's a beauty and uh, she's owned by a buddy of mine and I've been friends with him for, I don't know, somewhere around 35 years probably by now. Um, or close to it because we've been friends a long time. Um, just a little view of the shop as we're going along. Uh, we've got a flight school airplane in here. We've got a new customer over on the other side and a, a, a Mooney Ovation. We've got an F model Mooney sitting there. Um, that old guy's been in here for, uh, I think we brought him in in July-ish. Uh, sat for about six years and uh, we ferried it up here and uh, we're getting her going. Went through all the gear, lots of work, lots of work. Um, back hiding behind the beaver is a skipper. A lot of work. Another F model Mooney hiding behind the ladder there. Um, and we've got the T-34. Now this thing here, uh, we had put the engine in back in 2019, I believe it was, maybe 2020. And uh, it had to fly down to 8 Oklahoma to get the uh, Spar 80 complied with this airplane. Sat for about 33 years at one point after a restoration uh, but it, it's really really a nice airplane um, it's owned by an organization it's all I'll say for right now because I don't know if they want me telling you um, nice nice bird uh, and so what happened was the engine you know it sat for darn near two years waiting to get the Spar AD complied with after we uh, after we put the new engine in, and we got it back, and she wasn't running so good after about 70 hours, and pulled the cylinder and found she was just uh, was covered with corrosion on the inside. So uh, we pulled that engine off back in June of last year, 2022, and uh, we sent her down to Papa Grove. Um, now there were some uh, there were some concerns and some things going on. Um, it's not on Papa Grove that it took this long. It's uh, the organization uh, was doing fundraising, things like that, paid for the engine and paying for a bunch of other stuff on their other aircraft that they have. And so, uh, so we just got it back this morning, as a matter of fact, and uh, I'm tasked with putting it in because all the guys are busy. And hey, you know what? I can do it. It's no problem. Um, we have a Cirrus back here. He, uh, he's been in here for a little bit. We got a bunch of stuff to do on this one to get her finished up, wrapped up, out the door. Um, took a little binger on the wing and uh, and uh, dented a flap pretty good. So we're waiting for a flap to show up. And uh, we found a crack in the exhaust. Let me show you that, because that's kind of interesting. Um, this is a twin turboed uh, SR22. And if you look over around here, Let's see if we can find the crack. It's a it's a tricky one. Oh yeah, there she is. Right between where the wastegate mounts and the turbo mounts right here. And then wastegate mounts here. This is the number two riser, and then this is where the uh, number four and six uh, go into it. Like something like this. See, you, you get the idea. Uh, so anyway, we're uh, waiting for that part to show up, and then uh, we can put it back together. I pulled this all apart, uh, so we get that back here. Get this engine uh, going. Finish some timing on it. Got a couple other things to do. Um, we got to finish our repair. We're actually gonna send it out to get. Where is that at? Here we go. Um, get this painted by a different shop. We don't have the capability right now to to do that. So. Um, I know I'm off track from what we were initially talking about, but this is what we do here. We, uh, we're we like the uh, veterinarians of aircraft maintenance. We don't specialize in any one airplane, although we're really good at Cessnas. We're really good at Beechcraft. We're really good at Moonies. We're pretty darn good at Cirrus. And, you know, you name it, the Piper line, we're pretty good at that too. So we take care of them all. Um, we do everything. We have a full crew. You can see they're all, like I said, they're all working on getting the uh, beaver done. We want to get him ready to go. Uh, uh, Canada is going to be 
calling his name pretty soon, so he'll be heading up there. And uh, anyway, it's about break time, so I'm gonna help myself to a cup of coffee here in the office. I just have to find the coffee cup because I probably put it somewhere, oh, on my desk. So I will uh, catch you guys in a little while. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. Um, if Go ahead and I think subscribe somewhere. There's a little bell if you ever want to get notified that I made a new video or something. And, uh, you know, uh, this is just a little bit of what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm trying to, to uh, not get too much garbagey stuff on there. Um, but I think this is interesting. I mean, it's interesting for me. I've been a mechanic for uh, 34 years. And uh, it's, it's interesting. I never have a boring day at work. And... Uh, just want everybody else to enjoy it as much as I do. So I will continue on. I'm going to find the parts I'm looking for so I can get this engine in. And uh, we'll keep plugging away. i got about two hours left today. And uh, see how far I can get. And uh, hopefully we're dipping that sucker in the uh, engine compartment tomorrow morning. And uh, I don't know. If I really, really try hard, I might be able to get this thing done on Monday? I don't know. Tomorrow we're going to skip out early and go do an ice cream social over at the terminal building. So, hey, maybe you should go along for that. All right, we'll catch you later. See ya.